Hello, eighth grade. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your second song where we practice sampling. So in on the assignment, in this link, um, you'll see a folder with some examples of different audio clips you can sample. So you can start with the audio in this folder or message me if you have other ideas and need help acquiring that file. Um, some 8th graders have already found different ways to get audio from YouTube videos, which is okay too. So for this example, I'm going to use um, some audio from the movie Star Wars. So I'm going to take this one. You can listen to the um, example files in this folder, and if you like it, you can hit play. <laughs> So this is where Darth Vader's talking to Luke. So I like that, so I'm gonna download it from this folder. And now that I have this confirmation at the bottom left corner of my screen, I know it's downloaded in my downloads folder. So the next part I'm gonna go need to do is to go to BandLab. So you go to BandLab.com and log into your account. I am already logged in, so it takes me to my feed. In the top right corner, I am going to click on the plus sign, the red button that says create, and start a new project. Instead of going straight to browse samples like we did for our two track song, we're going to go to import audio here. So I'm going to import the audio from the Star Wars movie that I downloaded in my downloads folder. So now that this is um, imported, the next thing I need to do is to cut it up. There's two ways to do that. You can slide the left-hand part of the audio clip to the right, so it's like you're trimming it, trimming a file um, by sliding it from left to right. Or you could kind of think of it as cropping a photo. So this is one way to do it. So um, I'm trying to make it smaller because I noticed the part I want is about a minute in. So I'm gonna hit play. I kind of like some of these um, cool lightsaber sounds. So another way that you can crop um, or cut up your sample is to click on the pause button where you want to stop and then you can use this slice tool. So it says slice at playhead when I hover over it. When you click that it will chop this sample into two parts. So I'm gonna um, keep sliding this section because he hasn't started talking yet. I'm going to pause it there. I'm going to splice it or slice it at the playhead here by clicking this button. And then I'm going to select this loop, the rest of the audio, and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. You can also right click and click delete the third option here. So I'm going to do that to get rid of the rest of it. And now I have two samples I'm going to work with. So I'm going to go to add track so that I can find a beat. Um, and so what I'm kind of imagining in my head is to have like a very dramatic beat around this dramatic moment. So I'm going to go to like, you can go to moods. I'm going to try moods this time. I'm going to go to the dark mood and listen to some of these. I kind of like that because um, it's futuristic. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go down and see if they have a beat pack. I'm going to listen to the drums. I like this. So I'm going to put this in the background and see what that sounds like. So to get this menu to go away, I'm going to click this green part and it will pop will um, leave more room on the right side. It'll go back and hide. I'm going to slide this to the left and hit play and see what it sounds like. Clicking this button next to the play button will bring your cursor back to the beginning. There we go. So I like that a lot and then I'm going to slide this over to see what it sounds like. And 
can make a leap. over so it happens right there and I like that a lot though so the last thing you can do before you save it is um you can also mix it more change the volumes here with this green part and it says um what the volume level is you can also pan it that means you send one audio track to uh like the left side or the left speaker and then one to the right and then keep one in the middle so I'm gonna make the voice James Earl Jones' voice go to the right, left, actually left, because bad guy left. And then I'm going to put the lead here, that disco synthy sound, to the right. So let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> So I'm going to see what it sounds like if I put the drums and the synth on the same track. Let me see what that sounds like. So if you like that, you can um, change where it's, uh, you can hear the sound. So change the title of your project. So I'm going to call this the Star Wars Flight Song Sample. And then I'm going to hit publish so that people can see it. I'm going to put it in hip hop. No, I'll put it in, I don't know. You have to choose a, a genre for it. electronics, see what that sounds like. And I click publish. So that's a confirmation that popped up that the revision was published. So now I'm going to click exit at the top left and go back to my profile. And well, this will, uh, you can play the song from here or grab it from your profile. So if you go to the profile, you can click on your um, picture there. And once it's finished processing, you can click on this arrow and share or embed that link. So you're gonna click copy here and then send this to me either on Schoology, in Teams, um, any of those options. So that is how one example of how you sample a song.